we now need to make sure more so than ever before that we teach Islam to our children in such a way that they're prepared for this bombardment of liberalism, be it movies, be it music, Netflix, TV, social media. It's, it's from every single direction. They're going to be bombarded. And I think what Afi said is really relevant here when he said that no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to protect them from that. They're going to get that where, you know, it's everywhere. So what you need to do is you need to prepare them. And, and that's a positive thing, because I think in our time, I think we can af- appreciate this more than ever, is that when we were growing up, our parents didn't really give us Islam in that intellectual way. You know, we went to the mosque, the mosque taught us how to read the Quran. At home, we knew we were Muslim and the, our parents told us to go and pray and stuff like that. But we didn't really get that defense mechanism from the home. We kind of were almost a little bit fortunate in that in those times that onslaught of ideas wasn't as prevalent, I think, certainly in because of social media and all of the, the generation we are in today. And Alhamdulillah, we maybe came in touch with the right people at the right time to help protect us. We now need to do more than that because we need to protect our children because the times have completely changed the way ideas and the way they can travel and it, you know, manifest in our children, because, you know, go and speak to some imams. I'll guarantee you, even though this is not well known, imams will tell you that people are coming to them saying, I have same sex feelings. It is happening. Yeah. Imams are having to deal with this and it's because of the bombardment of the society. Yeah. So more important than ever, first and foremost, we need to protect our children and we need to start doing that from the home because this attack, this liberal attack is there and it's just going to get bigger.